Okay, hey, this is Omega here. So I got my uh, 90, I think it's a 92. Yes, it's a 92 uh, Kawasaki KLR650 here. And uh, I'm going to go uh, do a little mod today. Uh, plus I also need to tighten this uh, this nut here. It's uh, I just replaced it. Anyway, so uh, I'm doing a little, uh, kind of little review on this. Uh, these are uh, Rocks anti-vibration uh, uh, bar risers and these are great I love these especially if your bike vibrates a lot and you like to do lots of miles on the freeway so so um so here's a little story about my KLR uh, when I bought it the counterbalancer the doohickey was broken so uh, so when I opened it up I found it up in pieces and uh, luckily it didn't damage anything sort of it kind of uh, it kind of damaged the case a little bit but but anyway um, so the bike vibrated a whole lot. So I was like, man, oh, I, I was kind of up in the air whether I wanted to keep the bike because it vibrates too much. I can't take it on long rides and stuff. Um, and uh, so I did everything I could to quell the vibrations. And this was one of the mods I did. I, so I used to have these and I don't any, I don't anymore because I sold them because I thought I was going to sell this bike. So, so. Fast forward to now, uh, actually I have another set on my, my DR and they work great on those. Um, the DR doesn't really need them because the DR already has something like this. It has a little uh, vibration isolator thing on the on the triple tree clamp. But um, this does not, this is solid. So you see there, KLR has solid uh, upper uh, upper clamp. Um, so, so, uh, so this is a great, this is a great mod for it. Um, but when I uh, when I did fix the when I retimed the, uh, the counterbalancer, it uh, the bike ran so much more smoother. Oh my god, such a difference! If your bike vibrates a lot, it, it's just, you got a KLR and it vibrates a lot, you better go uh, you better go check up on that doohickey. Um, and it's kind of some work to get to, but uh, it's okay. <coughs> so. Uh, so right now I have El Cheapo bar risers right now. I've got these around. These are great to have around just in case, you know, you want to move the bars around. But this allows you to move the bars on two axes. Um, here on the bottom and on the top. And and it adds a anti-vibration mount. So so uh, so like the KLR is very it's pretty smooth now, but it's not perfectly smooth at like maybe like freeway speeds. You can still kind of feel um, you can still kind of feel uh, what's what's going on with the engine, right? The vibration. So, uh, so I'm hoping like uh, after I put this on, yeah, you won't get the you won't feel anything because that's just the same thing with the DR. The DR didn't vibrate that much before, but when I put these on, I, you can't really feel anything anymore. And uh, and the good thing about these are uh, are when um, like if you crash or something or drop the bike. They'll they'll actually they will actually pivot the rubber the rubber mount here will actually pivot and um and it'll uh, it'll uh, it'll keep your bars from bending uh, yeah you'll have a crooked bar but all you have to do is bend these back so uh, that's that's another interesting benefit of this uh, so I really like these a lot they're not cheap they're uh, these are about a hundred bucks to a hundred fifty bucks I was able to find it for like a hundred fifteen or something. So I went and bought another set, and I had the hardest time selling these too. And then, uh, yeah, so there they are. I'm gonna go ahead and install them. So it's pretty straightforward to install on a KLR. You need to have a, a six millimeter Allen wrench, and you may need a you may need to change your bolts to like long. Oh yeah, I I, ha I definitely have to change my bolts because I have the longer uh, I have the um, the little riser block so these are actually um, longer than normal so these have got to uh, I've got to get shorter ones now so all right here we go I'm gonna go take the handlebar off the six mil here Should be pretty easy if I didn't tighten it too much I remember I had these on here before and they were very comfortable too so they fit good some bikes maybe not but so the good thing is this allow you to move the bars forward and back too. You can move the, the bars a little bit forward and a little bit back. Um, some bikes may not may have problem with uh, the lines not being long enough, but this one is okay. 
All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take the bar off. I can't really do that with two hands, with one hand. He's gonna out for now. All right, so there we go. Got them all out. Um, so you're probably not, you're gonna reuse these, reuse these to make sure you keep them. And see they got like arrows that point up. And then uh, you're probably not gonna use these. So these are the old risers I have on there. They're great risers. They just all they do is they ride the basically what these will do is they'll rise your bars like an inch and then they'll it'll move it back a little bit so with this you have adjustability so you're gonna have to go find out what size uh what size bolts require would fit um the the old mounts I mean, if you have a stock klr you should you don't need to do this you can use the old bolts um the KLR use has to, they make you use these these kind of uh, Allen head bolts. I think it's an M8, I think. And so so that's the that is probably too long. Need something shorter than that. Looks like it goes looks as if it goes down like that far. So it's probably too much. I need one that's like half this size. All right. So I'll go find it and. Okay, we have a winner. This is the right size right here. So I'm going to go ahead and take them out. And we'll go install the risers. So um, there's a couple ways you can install these. You can put them on first, which is probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to put them on first and then put the bar and then you can just adjust everything. Just keep, keep everything light and loose for a while. Or, uh, or you can install them on the bar. You can install it on the bar first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some anti-seize on these. I probably did put anti-seize in the past, but I don't want these to get seized or anything. My bike stays outdoors, unfortunately. So I got some anti-seize compound here. So I will go get those. Uh, so I'll go get those mounted up. Okay, so I nearly got it mounted on there. Uh, and I just remember something. So the la when I installed these on my DR, this bolt wasn't tight. The one that goes to the anti-vibration dampener. Um, you want to make sure that's tight. Because I, I rode my DR around with it loose, and I'm like, man, this does not feel this does not feel proper. So um, so like um, the tighter you make this, the less the handlebars will move. But it'll make it vibrate more so you kind of want to find it like that happy medium where you want it um, but uh you definitely don't want this thing loose i would make it as tight as you can make it like just snug it you know but you don't want it too loose but then you don't want it too tight then because then it'll vibrate a lot so just kind of play with it okay so uh so now uh so so i i did what i did go and tighten it and it was a little bit loose so I got a good maybe like three quarters turn out of it. So, uh, so yeah, so you're gonna need an eight millimeter for the top bolt and a 17 for the nut. And like, it doesn't have to be super tight because it uses a lock nut, but like I said, you don't want it too loose or else the handlebars start moving and it's kind of dangerous, so. So this is about as far as I can move the bars on the KLR because it has that, that bolt coming out of it. It's kind of sucks but that's that's the limit but you can always adjust the bar itself so that's the one thing to to remember when installing these so go ahead and uh, I would go ahead and just tighten I would tighten the top one first a little bit and then and then just torque down the the bottom one so go ahead and tighten the top ones a little bit just move it out of the way first. Kind of get in the way. It's kind of a little bit tricky installing. Okay, and then just go ahead and loosen the bottom ones. Tighten the top ones first. I don't know. For some reason, that's the way it tells you to do it on the DR. So, and the uh, DR uses the arrow things with for the wheels. So that's the way I'm going to do it here. All right. So there you go. This one is kind of too tight now. I can loosen this one. 
Had it? Alright. So, this should be good. I think. Just make sure the gaps are good. Okay. That, sh that should be okay. Alright. So now, what I'm going to do, sorry it's dark now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take these out. So, another in another cool thing about the uh, these uh, rocks anti-vibration dampeners is uh, and risers are that um, they double as a, a bar adapter so if you wanted to install a big bar uh, like a fat bar a big bar <laughs> well if you want to install fat bars the, the thicker handlebars um, you can do that because this it has this little system here where uh, where you can take these off see this here it's a little plate I don't, I'm not really gonna take it off because I don't have to but you can take this off Ugh. Can't take it off. Uh, I, I'm assuming you, you can get a screwdriver and just pry it off. But if you can take this spacer off here, and you can install a fat bar, so so it uh, um, it doubles as an adapter too. So that's that's another reason I really like these. But uh, like I said, they're pricey. But, but I just I bit I bit the bullet and said, hey man, it's, I want to quell all the vibrations from the, the KLR six and put your hammer bar on. Probably gonna have to hold it in there. And I'm probably just gonna I'm probably just gonna tighten it so that every, everything um, so I can have access to all the bolts. So this is gonna be hard to do with two hands. So basically, I'm just gonna put the clamp in and then just bolt it down. Sorry, it's done. So there it is. So I got the clamps on there. I can tighten them down just a little bit, and now it's time to sit on the bike and and like kind of play with the controls so one way to uh, if you want the the controls to be similar to where they were before is uh, one way to do that is to sit on the bike and kind of look at where look at where your controls are and kind of note where they were before so I can tell like like hey this is way too it's way too it's way too back so I'm gonna have to move it forward a little bit so and then like the whole thing moves so um, so yeah, so so by by, by uh, adjusting it this way, you can move the bars more forward, or you can move it back. And that's the great thing about this; it allows more customizability. It lets you allows you to move the bars forward and rotate the bars. So uh, so just go ahead and do that, and like however you feel comfortable, however you like it, and then. Um, so the, it's not super, um, it allows you a great amount of adjustability, but it also, uh, also it gets in the way of stuff. So, <laughs> so as you can see, like that bolt was hitting that. So this is as far, this is as far, uh, as far back as I can move it, as I can possibly move it, which is okay. I think, uh, uh, you also want to note, um, maybe when I tighten it a little more, you want to note like how close these, uh, controls are getting to the tank. You don't want to hit the tank. So you want to move it far far enough where it's not going to hit the tank. Um, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust them the way I like them and, and then that'll be it. And then I'll just tighten them down. So just make sure you have access to at least two bolts. Um, make Just tighten one all the way and then just and then uh, and then loosen the other. And then um, and then just and then when it's time to go when you're when you got it the way you want you just tighten the one that you want, um, the the one that you have access to. Like you can completely cover this one with the bar or the handlebar. So see, see how I said to tighten the top ones here first, is because the handlebar is blocking it. So you're not going to be able to get your your wrench in there. So so what I did is I tightened it all the way, and then um, I tightened it on on the inside, and then I let and then I loosened it enough where I can still move it on the bottom. And then so when I want to tighten it. I just I crank up the ones that I have access to and then it'll it'll clamp it'll tighten fine. There you go, that's how I do it. Okay, I so apologize. It. It's dark. Um, but uh, I got it the way I wanted. Uh, so this is the how I got it set up. Um, I preferably I would want to move the bars a little bit more forward, but I couldn't do that because 
because of this hitting the uh, the triple tree, which kind of sucks. I thought about grinding the bolt down, but like, yeah, I didn't want to do that. And you gotta grind like a good chunk of the bolt off. So anyway, um, so that's how I got it. It's pretty much, uh, it's a little bit more forward than it was before. It's about the same height um, with the because I had the risers before. But um, the problem is I am hitting uh, up here. So I went ahead and that's why I went ahead and moved it as back as I could. I, I started moving it back because I'm hitting, I'm hitting the windscreen with my hand guard here, and I'm hitting the, I'm hitting the, um, I'm hitting the throttle cable right here. So uh, I want to go ahead and uh, not do that <laughs> as much as possible. So, so I kind of got that happy medium. I'm sure it'll wear like a groove in eventually or something. These hand guards are getting all crusty and stuff. These are expensive too. These Acer Biz ones. Um, one thing I could do is I could notch this. But I'd rather not because uh, I want this to be as strong as possible. It's a it's a windscreen. It's just attached to the fairing, so um, I want it to be as rigid as possible. But uh, yeah, there it is. I'll get a better shot when it's uh, right. But uh, I got them on there. I'll uh, I'll actually I'll take them for a ride. Um, take them for, I'll take them for a ride, and I'll I'll tell you how they feel. There they are, Hades and Mega. They're nice and bling bling, and they all have stainless steel hardware. They're aluminum, uh, so they will not rust. They will not rust. Very good, very good. Good and strong, and it adds, you know, it gives it gives you that ability to like if you fucking if you if you eat it or you drop the bike or something, um, it'll it'll keep you from breaking your triple tree, and it'll keep you from breaking your handlebars because it'll it'll actually move. And, uh, yeah, so I don't know why the KLR doesn't come with something like this already. The, the DR650 does. So you kind of, you're kind of doing, you're redundant on the DR650. You got two different isolators and maybe, like, it makes it kind of gooey feeling. So I think it's perfect for the KLR. It's, this is a great upgrade for the KLR. And, um, it'll help you get rid of that last, last bit of vibrations, you know. So I get some better shots when it's bright and I'll... And I'll do an actual ride review after this. So, hey, he's gonna make out.